This video illustrates the SIFS auditing process and provides a brief overview of the various options associated with it. Let us take a look at some of these options and including the one to enable auditing. So as we see the option has already been enabled. That is the option to enable auditing. Let's take a look at the first option in the list related to account management events. So these events basically include account creation, deletion, any uh, management account. Let's turn this option on. Let's create a user named Rob. So as we see, the user has now been added. Let's take a look at the uh, corresponding event. We see there has been an event created. So we see the event corresponding to the creation of the user. The next option actually relates to the extension for the event files. In our case, it's been set to timestamp. Hence, we see the events. Uh, ending with a particular date and time. The uh, file limit in our case has been set to uh, 200. It can generally take values anywhere between 0 to uh, 255. A value of 0 would mean that you can have as many event files um, as long as there is storage space for it. The next options correspond to the enabling of the on size option and uh, setting a threshold. Uh, basically, this threshold uh, percentage value is 75%, so it is a percentage of the the actual uh, audit log size, which is set to uh, 1 MB, an option that you see here in the list. Basically, this log size value specifies the size of the SIFS audit.alf file. The on time options actually specify the time intervals at which uh, these events are saved to disk. So um, in our case it is a minute so ideally uh, you would see events created every minute provided there has to be an event or incident to happen. So let's take a look at Next option, which is the file access event option. Yeah, this one specifies the uh, or records events related to file access, for example, opening a file, deleting a file, editing a file, etc. So let's try and demonstrate this here. So we turn this option on. All right, so um, we've already created a file and set this up for uh, auditing. So uh, we created a video share uh, and created a file named new text document here. So let's just open this file. Let's just delete the line that already exists. And let's save the file. Let's close it as well. We would see some events related to this file access. There uh, has been an event created. Let's go ahead and open the event.
So these are the uh, list of events that you would see when a file is accessed. So all of them have the object access option. So uh, they would include or show you the type of access that that was made, whether it was a read or a write. So the live view option in our case is enabled. It, it, it actually enables real-time auditing. Starting from version 7.2, live view follows the restrictions set by uh, the on size and on time options. So it simply follows those uh, restrictions. The next event is the uh, log on event option. So it records events related to the logging in of SIF shares, for example. The log size option, as I mentioned, is the maximum size of the ALF file as seen here. The NFS options are currently out of scope as far as this video is concerned. The last option specifies the location of the SIF's audit file, the file that is created generally when a manual save is made uh, using the command SIF's audit save. So the file already exists. We simply put in minus F option to update the file. If the file does not exist, the moment you type in SIF save, it would be created. For more information, please visit article 1011243 at uh, kb.netapp.com. Thanks for watching.